The seven most famous people with the last name Smith. Oh, we're switching it around. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most innocent show on the internet. My name is Riley Zone, by my guilty co-host, Dignan. <laughs> How good. <laughs> Wasn't even there. Today we're guessing the most famous people with a certain name. This is the, the name, name game. game. If you didn't see the first episode, we also do a lot of this over on TikTok. We're gonna get a name and try to guess the seven most famous people with that name according to the website Ranker. We're gonna get seven points for the top answer, one point for the bottom answer, three strikes were out, and one hint per round. That's one hint each. And it's me versus Dignan versus you. Mikey from Orlando, Florida. Time to see if you fly or land. Oh. <laughs> All right, before you do it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. HiveMindTV.com for our brand new merch just came out. All available over on HiveMindTV.com. We also have a merch drop over on Cope's website, linked in description, along with our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us. Or click the join button and become a member here on YouTube. Thank you, members. Also, follow us over on TikTok. Bunch of short form content over there. Last thing before we get into it, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, SeatGeek. We'll tell you more about SeatGeek a little later on in the video. Thank you, SeatGeek. Thank you. Let's do this. Grant, what is the first name? The seven most famous Dan, Daniels, and Dannys. Dan, Daniel. <laughs> Danny. Dan, Daniel. <laughs> Don't forget Danny. I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not forgetting. Dan, Daniels, Danny. You go first. No, oh, I yeah. don't want to go first. Yes. Daniel Boone? Not there. Really? Where the raccoons can cap and he fought at the Alamo? Remember the Alamo? <laughs> I thought Daniel Boone was like a third baseman in the MLB. Well, he's from the great outdoors and he wears a raccoon skin cap on his head. It's Daniel Boone. He's a great outdoorsman. Something like that. He's probably racist too, <laughs> knowing him. Knowing America. <laughs> Whatever, dude, I'm gonna get obliterated in this game. How about Dan Aykroyd? <laughs> Not there. What? That was your first guess, was Dan Aykroyd? Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. Why is that That's a, a terrible guess? You guessed Daniel Boone. A great American of the frontier. You just <laughs> called him racist. Well, we pro I'm just saying, knowing America. We're off to a rocky start. Dan. Oh, are we? Watch this. Daniel Craig. That is the highest answer for seven points. <laughs> James Bond. Talk about us. Hark. He also was, uh, he's in The Glass Onion. <laughs> Glass <laughs> Onion. Got the first one wrong and I'm looking for web redemption. Show me Daniel Tosh. Not there. <laughs> Come on. Hey, I guess that's a point oh for me. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you were laughing and then I looked back over and you weren't. <laughs> yeah, I can turn it off. I know. Show me Daniel Radcliffe. That is the second highest answer for six points. And bingo was his name, oh, but in this case it was Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Booyash kasha. <laughs> Respect the duck. <laughs> oh, my cousin Dan's not gonna be on here. Absolutely not. The dude is a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I love him though. I, yeah, I like him too, he's a good guy, but literally the furthest thing from my household name. There is a famous Dan Savage though. Guess him. I'm not going to, I'm gonna ask for my hint. NFL quarterback. Ah, Dan Blazarian. Not there. <laughs> oh shoot, <laughs> I really struck out on Dan. Yeah, you did buddy. It's like one of the most obvious names, oh man. I'm stuck on the NFL quarterback one because I only know him by his nickname. He's the quarterback for the New York Giants. Oh, no it's not, it's the more famous one, Dan Marino! That is the seventh answer for one point. Gotcha! <laughs> what ya? How did you not guess your personal friend? Well, because before? to me, he's not a famous person. You know, that's oh. my golfing buddy. <laughs> right. That's my strip club pal. We go to the strip club. What does Tripsy think about that? Tripsy's down, man. Very progressive. Oh, cool. <laughs> she loves throwing bills on them booties, too. Really? She said he was a terrible husband. He is. Oh. But it has nothing to do with his strip club goings with me. Oh. It has to do with his inability to show affection oh. intimately. He's one of those guys that is only good with his wife when other people are around, but the second it's just him and her, he's a choke artist, man. I've seen it, because I put cameras in his house. Why'd you, what? He wanted help, and yeah. so he wanted me to spy on him. Oh, kind of like a, a like hitch. A, like a parental control sort a of thing? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Okay, a little yeah. bit. Anyway, give me my hint here, Grant. Two last names. I already guessed Daniel Boone, right? Yeah. This would be like, Daniel's a first name. Yeah. There's gonna be two last names after that. Like Danny and Dan. Daniel, Danny, Dan. <laughs> no. That'd be awesome. I mean, no, yeah, but it's, it's just Triple not. Triple D. Right, it's not what, it would be like Daniel Johnson Williams. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, can I get a new hint? 
No. Oh, okay. You only get one per round. Yeah, that's my bad. Let's go, Daniel Thornton. Not there. Is, is that a person? Probably. Two strikes. Oh, look who's counting now. Um, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Show me Danny Brown. Not there, that is eight. Really? Danny Brown and Dan Marino? They would not get along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zero chance, dude. Danny Brown drinks too much. He's actually sober now. He's fully sober. Well, that's good. Maybe they have a chance of getting along. Oh, okay. <laughs> but there's stuff about Danny Brown I'm telling you Dan Marino will not like. Okay, but they're just next to each other on a list on Ranker. It's not like they... That well, means if they were they next don't... to each other in a room, it wouldn't be good is all I'm saying. Sure, I guess. I Yeah, I guess you know Dan Marino better than I do. Yeah, there's a lot of things about Danny Brown Dan Marino will not like. Okay, like what? Comedy, not a big jokester. Why does he like you? I don't joke when I'm with him. We're very serious. Oh, okay. We talk about marital issues, our wills, our legacy, our golf game, math, philosophy, tiger sharks. Okay. He gets horny when we talk about tiger sharks. <laughs> Dan Marino does. He gets a little quirked up downstairs. Really? Yeah. He's got a wi It's the football. His head is twisted. <laughs> yeah. It's not like he's attracted to the tiger sharks, but it's just kind of like... It's like a trigger. Yeah. Yeah. It just kind of gets him going. It's weird. Tripsy's even tried having sandpaper skin and wearing a tail into the bedroom and it doesn't work. Ah. Sharks have very rough skin. You don't want to touch them. It's like sandpaper. Thousand grain. Grant, what was left on this list? Six is Daniel Day-Lewis. Of course, one of the greatest actors of our time. Five, Daniel Kaluuya. Mm. Yeah. Four, Danny Trejo. <laughs> of course. Three, Danny DeVito. Dude, I should have cleaned up all of those. I know most of those guys personally. <laughs> don't, you don't Charity know. work, man. You meet a lot of famous people. Don't even challenge me on this, dude. Dang, I got Danny Trejo's number in my phone. <laughs> Lot to a little. I picked up some good buckets there. Yeah, I believe it's 14 to nothing. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Grant, what's the next name? Seven most famous Jacks. Easy. Jack. Your honor, your honor. Since Jack Sparrow doesn't count because that's not a real person, I'm going to go with Jack Nicholson. That is the second highest answer for six points. Boom. I'm back on the board. Well, I'm on the board for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Smack water, Jack. It's probably my favorite Carol King song. Smack water, Jack. <laughs> um, show me Hawaii's own Jack Johnson. That is the seventh highest answer for one point. Making banana pancakes. That's my karaoke jam. Banana pancakes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, brother. I put on a little hula skirt too. I know it's appropriation, <laughs> yeah, but it's a bit inappropriate. It is tasteless, but it's my thing. Okay. And trust me, I make it fun for everyone. I, I keep it loose. Jack Johnson, actually, Nepo baby. His dad is Johnson and Johnson. I guess he was kind of born with a shot. You know what I mean? Boo, boo. <laughs> Don't um, boo me. I'm sorry. Boo that man. They'll do it. Okay. Show me famous beatnik Jack Kerouac. Not there. That is nine. We've lost our way. We've lost our way. People just don't read anymore. Everybody's getting lit. Nobody's getting literature. Is Jack Kerouac the one who did uh, Fear and Loathing? Nope. Who was that? Hunter S. Thompson. Do you know what he did when he died? Tricked balls on DMT. Well, he floated did, up to heaven. He did commit suicide, but in his will, he wanted to be cremated and shot out of a cannon by Johnny Depp, and that's what happened. <laughs> That is, that's the truth, brother. He was cremated and shot out of a cannon by Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp. <laughs> I swear to God. Is there swear a, to God. Is there a video? I'm sure. Or they did it in private, but that's like what happened. <laughs> look it up, pal. You can look that up at home too. And you can also write in your will that that's what you want to do. Because that's what I did. I said, if I die, if I perish before Johnny Depp does, cremate me, shoot me out an MF in cannon. <laughs> J Depp. <laughs> And if you die after Johnny Depp, maybe Lily Rose Depp could do it for you? Oh, heavens no. Oh, <laughs> sorry. My fault. <laughs> heavens no. He's a pirate. That's what makes that funny. He's shot cannons. What yeah. has Lily Rose Depp done? With cannons. Oh, I was going to say she's a freak. Yeah. I know. She's a yeah. great dancer. Yeah. Very pretty. Right. <laughs> um, show me the golden bear, Jack Nicholas. That is the fifth highest answer for three points. That fucker could swing a two iron. Well, I can't believe we got this far without saying this guy. Show me Jack Black. That is the highest answer for seven points. School of Rock, baby. <laughs> Give me my hint, Grant. You got the front man in a band. Show me Jack White. That is the sixth highest answer for two points. Black and white. Detroit Till I Die, motherfucker. The White Stripes. Great band. Mm -hmm. uh, give me my hint here, please. 
He's an actor. His career took off after appearing on TV panel shows. What's a TV panel show? Like a, like The View? Hollywood Squares? <laughs> Was he on Hollywood Squares? Everyone in Hollywood's a fucking square to me. You're friends with all these people from charity work. I didn't say friends. I said I know them personally. Oh, okay. I would never hang out with them. I'm going to go with Jack the Ripper. That is the third highest answer for five points. Whoa, I didn't know if he would count. He's so famous and he's real. Oh, he is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. On nights just like tonight, he Wait, lurks really? the streets, oh. and he looks for little mustachioed, hazel-eyed boys just like yourself. Can I ask another question? Sure. Grant, is Jack in the box real? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> well, that's good. No, that's a relief. Show me Volfpack's own Jack Stratton. Not there. <laughs> really? That guy's groovy. Yeah, he's really groovy. Super Funky. Groovy. Tasteful, too. Oh, yeah, I love it. Doesn't overplay. Show me Jack McAllister. Not there. I don't know if that's a real person. Just kind of a name. Does Jackie count? No. Her name's Mila anyway. I was going to say Jackie Gleason. Oh, yeah. Pow, right in the kisser. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Domestic violence. Is Jack Donahue here? Not there. Wow. Oh, show me Jack's films. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Jackman Hugh? Does that count? Who's that? Hugh Jackman. Oh. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> show me my twin, Jack Harlow. Not there. For reals? Was he on the top 10? No. Really? He has fallen off, I'll say that. I don't think he has. I mean, he had his moment, and it was like, wow, he's never going to not be this famous again. And he's definitely not that famous anymore. We'll see what happens when he comes sure, back. Sure, yeah. but he's slipped a little. Maybe, maybe a little bit. All right, what do we got left, Grant? The last one is Jack Whitehall. Yeah, no, I was never going to get that. And he did panels? Well, he's an actor now, but that's why he started his career. What kind of acting did he do? Dramas. So Jack Whitehall is more famous than Jack White, according to Ranker. Makes no sense to me. Makes no sense to me either. Grant, what's the next name? The seven most famous Amy's. Ooh, Amy's. Oh, you get to go first. Darn it. More. Shoot. Give me it. Good grief. Give me your all, Savage. Dang, Nabbit. That's the one. Cut. Everybody break for lunch. Wait, what? <laughs> we didn't, no, we don't need to. No, 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 no need for a break. I think well, that just, was the one. I got it. I'm good. I know, but I'll just edit. Like, I can just edit that, and then it goes to your guess. I'm the director. I'm Steven Spiels. Ooh, guess him. <laughs> no. Um, his name isn't Amy. Nice try. <laughs> Very close, though. I'm going to go with Amy Klobuchar. <laughs> That's not there. <laughs> that is 10. What? <laughs> Because like Minnesota <laughs> political candidate. Does no one read the news? God, I mean, what what a ridiculous one. Klobuchar. <laughs> it's a great last name, but it makes no sense as a guess. Grant, show me Amy Adams. That is the fourth highest answer for four points. Aw, you didn't get the highest one. I thought for sure that'd be the highest. Okay, hey, consider me humbled. Show me Amy Smart. That is the seventh highest answer for one point. Not so smart after all. I ought to club you. I ought to hit you with the club. Club you like a stream trout. Grant, show me Amy Poehler. That is the third highest answer for five points. Gra, gra, gra. SNL's own Parks and Recreation, Leslie Nope, Amy Poehler. Show me the big dog, Amy Schumer. That is the fifth highest answer for three points. Guess it wasn't that big. She's so funny. Who are these other famous Amys? <sighs> Amy, Amy. <laughs> oh, Rest her soul, show me Amy Winehouse. That is the highest answer for seven points. Why don't you come on over, Valerie? Ugh. Valerie. Ugh. What the hell? I thought I did a pretty good job. Oh, I am so sore. Oh, we. I'm never gonna be able to run this 20K. A 20K? Yeah. You can't run, <laughs> no. you can't even run like a 2K. I know, but I'm doing it for drugs. For drugs? Charity. What? It's a charity for drugs, to get drugs into the hands of the youth. <laughs> That's like an opposite charity. No, it's my charity. You Charity can be whatever you want. Me and Danny Trejo are in on this. You and Danny Trejo started yes. a charity to give drugs to children? What's that that you just did? It's called Wings for Tots. I tried trading my Wings for Tots at B-Dubs the other day, and they said, we don't serve tater tots. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, these wings aren't from here. Where'd you get those? <laughs> that was whatever. What's my hand, Grant? Queen of Christian pop. <laughs> That's supposed to get me closer. <laughs> Is it Amy Smith? Not there. <sighs> God, I wish I knew more about Christian pop. You should ask me 10 years ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my hint, though, for number two. 
one of the most legendary female WWE stars. Oh, no. Should have asked me 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like I should know that, but I just know names are coming to me. So I'm going to go with Amy Webster. <laughs> Not there. Okay. The dictionary girl. Yeah. Oh, I feel like the WWE star is Amy McAllister. Not there. Oh. It's the second time we've done a McAllister last name. That's yeah. like a fill-in guess. It's going to work, though. It's <laughs> a kind of a fun. famous yeah, last yeah, name. Yeah, I feel that. Oh, that's a McAllister? I heard he's tight with the McAllister family. Jesus. God, I heard they luge in the winter. Show me Amy Williams. Not there. Thinking like a Wendy Williams type situation? No, just thinking like broad last names and not like that. <laughs> Go ahead, do your thing, Riley. Amy Stenheiser. Not there. Really? Oh, of the yeah. Stenheiser fame? Wow. Can you slouch a little with me too? I kind of like this. Sure. Grant, what's left on the Amy list? Six is Amy Grant, and two is Amy Dumas. Oh! Dumas or dumbass? Joe Dumas. <laughs> hey, Amy Dumbass! <laughs> Hits herself a few times, distracts the opponent. I do love that author, Kyle Dumbass. Well, bang! Oh, I turned, <laughs> I turned and almost actually caught an elbow from you. Hey, Dignan, before we get into this next one, you want to tell them about our sponsor, SeatGeek? I'd love to. Riley, you know what's coming up, don't you? What? Football, that's right. And you know the best place to get deals for Detroit Lions tickets is today's sponsor, SeatGeek. Seat With more than 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek every single day including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. And like I said, I'm so excited to go to the Detroit Lions home opener against the stinky Seattle Seahawks, and I'm going to sit at the 50-yard line in the first row. And artists like Taylor Swift, Drake, and Beyonce are on tour now. I'm going to sit at the 50-yard line front row for all three of those shows. <laughs> you don't want to miss that. SeatGeek puts all the tickets from across the web into one place to guarantee you're getting a good deal, which is good because I'm always getting scammed on tickets. Well, you're just gullible. I mean, like it says on this mic right here. Gullible. I didn't know that's how you spelled that. Well, lucky for you and our viewers, each ticket is rated on a scale of one to 10. Look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee and SeatGeek is the only place that allows you to return tickets with swaps. And you know we came through for you guys. Use code HiveMind for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code HiveMind. H-I-V-E. M-I-N-D. Hive Mind, the name of our show. <laughs> Make sure to click the link in the description to download the app right now. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Let's do this. And we're back. Grant, what's that next name? The seven most famous Chris's or Christopher's. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to Christmas. <laughs> uh, show me Chris Pratt. That is the fourth highest answer for four points. Sure, I'll take it. Me and Christopher Robin. Is that how that song go? I don't know, but Christopher Robin, he's the Winnie the Pooh guy, right? Yeah. What is his deal? Is he like Winnie the Pooh's dealer? No, he's like, he's delusional, like fully delusional. Oh, he's tripping. Yeah, he sees visions of animals in the woods that are his friends. I mean, oh. he's an absolute, he's now off the deep end. Now that's delusional. Absolutely. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now that's delusional. Oh, okay. Your tone was now different. Now that's delusional. Okay. See, that's different. <laughs> well, just let me know which take works. Now that's delusional. It sounded like you were announcing it, like for a show or something. No, that's delusional. Yeah, you were a little more timid, but still questioning. Now that's delusional. There you go. That's perfect. That'll work. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Christopher Walken. That is the sixth highest answer for two points. Peanuts in a bag. Wow. <laughs> I'll have a six piece nugget <laughs> and small fry. Chinatown, that's my favorite Christopher Walken movie. That's my favorite song by Destroyer. I love Destroy Lonely. No, <laughs> different, <laughs> totally different. Show me Chris Hemsworth. That is the second highest answer for six points. What about Chris Evans? That is the highest answer for seven points. Booyakasha. Actors. <laughs> I can't move my arms, is that all right? Eh, it's fine. You don't really need them. As long okay. as you just use that, that diaphragm of yours, I've been saying, you gotta project. My mama. Sure. Yeah, that sounded good. Yeah, it was just a practice phrase. Oh, show me disgraced stand-up comedian Chris D'Elia. 
Not there. You had a problem, right? Uh, I, he was talking to minors. That is more than a problem. No, it's more than a problem. He's, he's a bad, breaking he's the a, fucking law. He's a criminal. A criminal bad guy. And he had that weird thing, that soft chin that kind of bleeds into your neck. Yeah. I didn't and like I that. know it's bad to make fun of people, but I, it's one of the cool, I'll never have a friend like that. No, no. If you got a soft chin that bleeds into your neck and your head just kind of like emerges <laughs> out of your throat, yeah. I don't like that. And I feel like we kind of get a free pass to talk about that because he's a bad guy. Well, yeah, you know but I'm mean? saying even outside of him anybody who looks like that i don't trust sure not even no i might be able to trust him but i'm never gonna have fun with him yeah i'm not gonna invite him out of my boat i'm not gonna say hey you old neckhead son of a bitch get out on this boat with me and have a good time <laughs> yeah because the whole time i'm gonna be like he's gonna be like is everything all right and i'll be like oh yeah ahoy and i'll be like oh shit this guy's head is coming right out of his throat hey chest chin grab a twisted tea from the cooler <laughs> <laughs> show me a uh, former big bat chris davis not there. <clears throat> Remember he hit like 50 dingers one year and then he hit like 86 the next year? Oh, yeah. Baltimore Orioles. Oh. Show me Chris Rock. That is the fifth highest answer for three points. Give me a little rock. Boom. There. Don't you wish like Spanish and Italian cultures we kissed each other on the cheek when we greeted each other? No. Really? No, I mean, it's nice. Like, I think what I like about it is that it's so rare that if a girl does that, I'm like, oh, where's she from? Oh, I mean she's, men too. But it, I mean, I like getting kissed on the cheek by a girl more than a guy. I see what I you mean. Like that. it's exotic. Like if someone was like, "What's up, bro?" <laughs> You're yeah. like, "Oh, he must be Spanish." Yeah. <laughs> I like it too because you don't really. It's not even a direct kiss. It's like you touch cheeks and you make a kissing sound. There you go. You go. Just kind of out to the wilderness. <laughs> Isn't uh, notorious Big's real name Christopher Wallace? See on here. Not there. <laughs> Show me one of the only musicians to win the big four at the Grammys, Christopher Cross. Not there. I need my hint. Grant, I have two strikes, right? Cough it up, buddy. Guinness Book of World Records holder. Oh, show me that WWE guy who killed his whole family, Chris Benoit. Not there. Ooh. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> That's a world record. Most murders by WWE man. He definitely, I mean, if they, if they decided to put that record in the book, it would be his name. Yeah. I, yeah, but they wouldn't do a record. <laughs> Most direct family members slaughtered by professional wrestling performer. Yeah. On a plaque. <laughs> like gold. I mean, it's dark. It's and that's yeah, macabre. Definitely, it's definitely dark. Yeah. You love that word now that you learned it. Macabre! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's my hint, Grant? He's an actor uh, mainly in sci-fi films. Mainly in Man. sci-fi films. I think I'm going to go with the first guy. Show me Chris Angel. Not oh. there. Mind Freak? Mind Freak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he actually holds it in his world record, but that seems like something he would have. For biggest levitation. Oh, yeah, for levitating people through the TV. Yeah, he also made an elephant disappear once. I don't mind a freak, I'll say that much. I'm a freak, yeah. I do magic on TV. <laughs> if they reboot that show, they should have Lily Rose do the theme song. All right, what was left, Grant? Seven is Christopher Lee. That's the one! It, That's who I was thinking of! Wow, that was loud. <laughs> oh my oh. god, I think you might have ruptured my eardrum. That's the Wicker Man! Sorry yeah. about that. Three is Chris Pine. Oh, Chris Pine, yeah. It's not the Wicker Man. Wow, I really think my eardrum might have ruptured. That was so loud. <laughs> Oh, that is the one I was thinking of, man. Fuck, I'm gonna, I'll call his ghost later. I apologize. All right, Grant, what's the next name? The seven most famous people with the last name Smith. Oh, we're switching it around. We're putting the skirt on our head. <laughs> <laughs> we're inverting it. Right. I'm just yeah. trying to use an analogy. <laughs> yeah, no. From the shoes on our hands again. Yeah. Can I do a threefer? <laughs> no. Uh, really? No, you can only guess one. Okay, Will Smith. That is the highest answer for seven points. I am going to go with his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. That is not there. That's eight. <laughs> Should have thought of the more famous ones, his offspring. Show me Jaden Smith. That is the sixth highest answer for two points. Should we just clean out the, the family or? I want it. Yeah, I don't think so either. What are other Smiths though? I got a couple. Jackass. You do? Uh, one. I don't know. I'm just going to guess Willow Smith. Not there. That is nine. Great. Right. Great. That's what I was going to awesome. guess. Awesome. Awesome. Smith. You think it's such a common name, you would know some more people with it. You know? <laughs> what is this? For you this? think it's so common. Is this like a Harry? It is it's the, like almost a Harry Carey impression or something. <laughs> it is the most common last name, and you just still, you're stumped. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I'm losing it, pal. <laughs> I can tell. Wow, I lost all my prescriptions. <laughs> really? I am seeing triple. Oh, jeez, man. I am thinking ripples. Yeah. My thoughts are ripples. Yeah, it doesn't seem, none of this even really makes sense, so, yeah. <laughs> my brain is a crinkle. Just guess some Smith stuff. All right, um, show me Patty Smith. Not there. Wrote some books. She's a good musician. I'm going to ask for a hint here. Singer-songwriter. Singer-songwriter. I'm going to go with the lead singer of The Cure, Robert Smith. That is the third highest answer for five points. Thank God. I was like really tricking myself into believing yeah. that his last name wasn't actually Smith. This game turned your head into gazpacho. <laughs> it's a kind of soup. <laughs> I've heard of it. It's yeah. cold. Um, Sam Smith. That is the fourth highest answer for four points. Okay. Oh my God. Show me Elliot Smith. That is the seventh highest answer for one point. Oh, thank God I thought of that. Wow, I would have been embarrassed. Who is that? <sighs> You need to get sadder. <laughs> you turn all of your misfortune into anger. What is anger? <laughs> Frustration? That's an emotion or Madness. something? Madness. Yeah, whatever. Just <laughs> madness. Oh, so mad. I'm not mad, dude. I'm pretty happy. Go lucky guy, yeah, honestly. Well, happy and mad are not opposites of each other. This ain't coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drip a little on yourself. Yep. That's okay. Every day above ground's a good one. Bingo. <laughs> Hello, my shirt says that. Um, I'm the kind of guy who wears his feelings on his sleeves. Um, all right, show me blacksmith. <laughs> Not there. That's just a job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with baseball legend and backflip general, Ozzie Smith. Nice. Not there. Oh, great poll, though. Oh, God, I wanted to say him the whole time, honestly. Yeah. But I knew he probably wouldn't be on there. That's okay. Where's my beer? I love him. What? Ozzy Smith. Sharon, who's stealing my beer? That's Ozzy Osbourne. Fly ball to left center. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever. I don't need a cutoff, man. I got an assault rifle for an arm. <laughs> Straight on, he's out of here, Sharon. Generals gather in their masses. <laughs> Just like witches with fat asses. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going off, a little, off the rails here. Let me reel it back in. Yeah, sure. Give me my hint, Grant. Actor in the House of Dragons. A show I've seen. <laughs> I've watched it with my own two eyes. Last name Smith. <laughs> All right. An actor, though. I don't really know actors' names. Point in place, old Christopher Lee. Left out there in purgatory. Point in place? <laughs> point in place. Right there. The last question. The point and the place. <laughs> well, I made that mistake. <laughs> At that point in time and that place in the game. You can rewind and see it. Show me John Smith. Not there. I was trying to give you a hint. Telepathically, I was trying to tell you Rick or Morty Smith. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's left? Five is Matt Smith. And two is Maggie Smith. Who are those people? <laughs> uh, one's in the House of Dragons. And who's Maggie Smith? Old actress. Okay, cool. That one was fun. That was fun. I like the little flip. Yeah, I like putting my, whatever, something upside down. <laughs> Grant, what's the next name? We're the seven most famous Janes. Jane, Jane, Jane. Jane, Jane of Janes. Jane's. Show me Gorilla Woman. Jane Goodall. That is the fifth highest answer for three points. Yeah, I think it's it's more Jane Goodall. I just kind of said it weird, but I know Gorilla Woman. You shouldn't call people that. She like hung out with gorillas. It's not like she's a gorilla woman. <laughs> she was like a gorilla researcher. Turns out she did more harm than good and actually exploited a lot of the local people. <laughs> more like Jane Badall. <laughs> Ayo, bitch. <laughs> no? Okay. Ayo. <laughs> Bad lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, show me Jane Lynch. That is the third highest answer for five points. Show me Jane Austen. That is the second highest answer for six points. Boom, she's an author. Damn right she is, Riley. Yeah. Pride and Prejudice. I got one of those. <laughs> Pride in this great nation. Yes. Give me a hint, Grant. She's an actress. She was Hollywood's leading sex symbol in the 40s and 50s. Anybody could have been a sex symbol in the 40s. <laughs> She's got straight teeth. That's the hottest woman I've ever seen. She's got access to hot water. <laughs> you don't look a day past 15. <laughs> and I probably should know that. I don't mean to joke about that. I know people were hot back then and stuff or whatever. But don't come at me. Everything's most of, most of it's a joke. I'll let you know and I'm telling the truth. Swear. I'll say truth alert. 
<laughs> okay. That's and good. you'll salute me. Ah, I'm when I say that. it, you will. <laughs> you will. You'll take your head off and you'll salute me. We'll see. Show me Jane Jones. Not there. Oh, he hesitated, though. He's mm. close. Must have been a close one. Must have been a close one, yeah. Probably Jonesy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask for my hint here. She's a film, theater, and TV actress, one of the earliest Playboy Playmates. Wow, a lot of sex symbols. It's a sexy name. Grant, show me Jane's addiction. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Wasn't sure if it was going to count. Unbelievable band. Really opened my mind first time I saw him. Really? Really changed the way I thought about going to a show and experiencing music in general. Dave Navarro. <laughs> Transformative experience for little old Dignan. Grant, show me Jane Powell. Not there. <sighs> Oh, whoa. Grant, show me uh, Jane Fonda. That is the highest answer for seven points. Yes, okay. I knew that there was a name in there, like an old name kind of bouncing around that I couldn't couldn't figure out. Jane Fonda's dead. Doesn't make any sense, man. Totally does. She was old as shit. I don't want to die. I mean, you're gonna someday. Oh, the gravity of that reality sometimes just bears too much weight for me. Why do you live so recklessly i guess i don't care when i die i just don't want to do it <laughs> <laughs> and i i don't know it seems like you might want to postpone it then if you're scared of it happening well, i mean if it happens in 60 years that's like 60 years of existential torment if it happens tomorrow at least i don't gotta worry about it it's almost like free at last free at last right well, i keep guessing i guess man i'm not gonna die am i you will someday oh or no never mind you won't oh, okay yeah, i guess just keep guessing <laughs> all right jane Jane Cronda? No, that's just rhymes with Fonda. Okay. Jane Jackson? Not there. Okay. Um, show me Jane Remover. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Should be. Yeah. Hey, someday she will be. All right, still got to guess one more. How about Jane Thompson? Not there. <laughs> okay, that was a made-up name. I'm not actually frustrated that I wasn't there. I was just kind of getting it over with. Nice. Yeah. What else is on that list? Seven is Jane Russell, six is Jane Mansfield, and four is Jane Seymour. Mm, I knew all those. Jane Seymour? Jane Seymour. You should sigh more. I'm good, man. I'm already pretty fucking depressed. No, I know. I was just kind of like a sarcastic, like, you should sigh more. Like, you say sigh more about it while you're dread. <sighs> See, and then you did it, so. That was a gasp. No, a gasp is a... <gasps> oh, really? Yeah. And a sigh is a... <sighs> cool. Good to know. <laughs> Grant, what's the next one? The seven most famous fictional Peters. Whoa. So, like, fake dicks. Um, I guess I'd have to go with the dragon dildo. I think it's my guess, buddy. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll holster that one. Yeah. Sorry about that. Ooh, Bart's penis from no. the Simpsons movie. No. Oh, no. Okay, sorry. Your guess. My bad. Show me Peter Griffin. That is the fifth highest answer for three points. That's because you're thinking too modern. You gotta go with Peter Cottontail. Not there. What the heck? He's a, he's a little rabbit. I like where your head's at, Riley, but I'm gonna go with Peter Rabbit. That is the fourth highest answer for four points. Okay. I like Cottontail more. That's just, hey. Oh, what's the face? What's the face? Take off your stupid human mask. It's me being a rabbit. <laughs> that's that's Frank from Donnie Darko. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. Show me Peter Pan. That is the second highest answer for six points. Yeah. Uh, show me Peter Dan. What the heck's that? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like it. Though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that's not a guess. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Peter. Peter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you stumbled into yeah. that. Yeah. Um. Show me Peter. Peter. Pumpkin eater. Not there. <laughs> really? Oh, it, maybe it's just Peter Peter. Not there. He eats pumpkins. Yeah, you shouldn't call people names, so maybe it's just Peter Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Davidson? Oh, no, that doesn't. He's real, I guess. Mm, <laughs> I'm not sure. Never seen him. Not at the charity events. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take a hint. The character from X-Men whose name is Quicksilver. Oh, well, I'm not going to do that because it, it led me somewhere else. Peter Parker. That is the highest answer for seven points. Spider-Man. Sorry, I might have spoiled it for you. Shit. It's all right. Peter Cran. <laughs> the hell's that? What is that? What? <laughs> oh, it's just another Peter Pan rhyming one? Okay. <laughs> Peter Slam. <laughs> it doesn't rhyme. Okay. Um, show me Peter Baelish. Not there. Uh, that's Peter like P-E-T-Y-R. Ain't there. <laughs> <laughs> There. <laughs> Some of them gotta be animals. I'm just gonna go with Peter Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Show me Peter Free. Not there. Peter Free. It's kind of like Butter Free. Yeah. <laughs> Is Peter one of the chipmunks? 
from Alvin and the Chipmunks? Not there. Okay. Peter! It's Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Yeah, <laughs> shit. Okay, fuck. We're all struck out. You forgot to ask for a hint. Whatever. <laughs> What's left? Seven is Petro Maximoff. Mm. Six is Peter Pavensi. Mm. And three is Peter Quill. Who's Peter Quill? Chris Pratt's character in Guards of the Galaxy. Yes. Oh. Haven't seen it. Bad. Grant, what's the next name? The seven most famous Ryans. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and you get to go first. Ryan Philippi. That is the fifth highest answer for three points. Strangely enough, that is the first one that came to my mind as well. He's an American hero. Didn't he punch somebody at a gas station? Who cares? <laughs> I have. I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just like trying to remember. Is that him? He is him. He was a swimmer. Oh yeah. Show me Ryan Reynolds. That is the highest answer for seven points. Show me Ryan Cottontail. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Show me Big Bat Ryan Howard. Not there. Philly's Big Bat Ryan Howard. He's yeah. not there. That's ridiculous. It is. Show me Big Board Ryan Sheckler. Not there. If it was 2008, he definitely wouldn't be. He was a pretty boy. Oh, uh, show me Ryan Johnson. Not there. It's weird he scored a thousand points for Swanton Varsity. Oh, that's just a guy you went to high school with? It's a hell of a hooper. <laughs> okay. Ron John. That's what we called him. Really? Yeah. I pranked him at a lunch one time. You want to know how? Sure. You know how the cafeteria tables just have those little circles, the big fold-up tables, whatever. Yeah. You just sit on a circle. One of them broke. Mm. Busted off. And it was just a sharp piece of metal. And I balanced it back on. Just sitting there. Ron John, get over here. Come sit with us. And he's high-flying jock. He's going, hey, 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 what's up, guys? <laughs> Comes over. Seat slips. Whoosh, big metal spike right in his ass. Oh. That's literally like... Oh, yeah. Stabbed through his gym shorts. He had a bloody ring. A <laughs> little wound. That's like not okay. Yeah, but he was like a dick jock. It's, it doesn't matter. That's assault. It's not assault. My principal literally showed us the cafeteria camera footage and we all laughed about it. No one got in trouble. Because <laughs> that, I mean, he deserved it. It was that kind of guy. <laughs> Shout out Ron John, though. I'll mess with you the long way. What the hell, man? It was different back in the 90s. Show me super producer Ryan Lewis. Not there. <laughs> what? He he did the heist. I know. He won a Grammy for it, too, man. Doesn't seem right. Grant, give me that hint. NFL quarterback, Big Beard. Show me Harvard graduate, Ryan Fitzpatrick. That is the seventh highest answer for one point. Fitz magic. Yeah, there you go. Grant, I got two strikes. I'm also going to ask for my hint. He's an actor and a boxer. Uh, Ryan Stallone? No, not <laughs> him. Ryan Sandberg is spelled all weird, so he's not going to be on there. Cubs legend, though. Great player. Wow. Not enough talk about him these days. Oh, we'll be right back after the break. Give me Ryan Seacrest. That is the third highest answer for five points. Yes. Hello, Barbie. Show me Ryan Gosling. That is the second highest answer for six points. Wow, how did we miss Gosling this long? Hello, Barbie. Did you see the movie yet, or are you just doing that? I'm just doing it. Yeah, see? You gotta see the movie. Hello, Barbie. Dula Peeps in that show, too. Show? Yeah, she's in that Barbie show. <laughs> it's, it's a movie, right? And her name's Dua Lipa. Dula Peepa, right. Right, okay. How about Ryan Adams? Not there. Ah, uh, good ball. Absolute schmuck, though. I yeah. learned that from Motion Sickness by Phoebe Bridgers. True. Ryan Adams and the Cardinals, though, they made some classics. Yeah. And Ryan Sandberg and the Cardinals also made some classics in terms of baseball games. Can I get Ryan Garcia? Not there. Did you get that? Nope. <laughs> All right, so we both struck out, huh? Yeah. What's left on the Ryan list? Six is Ryan O'Neill. And four is Ryan Lochte. Ryan Lochte. That's the swimmer. Ryan Felipe Philip Philippines or whatever is, I think, a, a, just an actor. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I was thinking of Ryan Lochte the whole time. The whole huh? time. We never said his name. Yeah, he punched someone at a gas station. Right. And <laughs> I'm glad we got to correct the record. If he wasn't yeah. on here, we would have lived our whole lives thinking Ryan Philippi did that. And I think <laughs> Ryan Philippi was in that movie where... Oh, um, getting awful close. It's in a... Something about his stepsister. It's a nasty movie. It's called Something Bad. The title's fine, but it's about something bad. All right. Moving on up. Grant, what's next? Seven most famous Hillary's. Hillary? <laughs> I don't like this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's going to be tough. Give me a hint. No, <laughs> I'm first. Okay. Yeah. Ask for a hint. I'm not going to because I'm going to guess Hillary Clinton. That is the fifth highest answer for three points. Fifth? <laughs> 
Who's won then? <laughs> He's fifth. <laughs> she killed a bunch of people in the nineties, allegedly. No, she, I yes. said allegedly. She's a good wife, and she could would have been a good president. She stole votes. No, I don't know. I don't know. She didn't steal mine. <laughs> yeah, she didn't steal enough. No, I didn't vote. <laughs> she didn't steal enough, you know. She just stole mine. It was up for grabs. Show me Hillary Duff. That is the third highest answer for five points. Yeah, Lizzie McGuire. Love the Lizzie McGuire movie. I know number one now. I'm gonna go with Hillary Swank. Dang it! That is the fourth highest answer for four points. Yeah, that's what I was gonna guess. Give me that hint, Grant. She's an American violinist. Of course. It'll help you out a bunch. Hillary, Hillary plays the strings. <laughs> Hillary, <laughs> fuck. Oh, violin's a stupid fucking instrument. I disagree. I think it's beautiful. I like electric guitar. Me too. I like it more than the violin, but I can still like the violin. Good for you. I can't. I don't have room in my heart. <laughs> Show me Hillary Hill. Not there. Ooh. Man, I'm out of Hillary's, I'll be honest. Yeah. I am completely out of Hillary's. Get a hint. Sure, I'll take a hint. This Hillary was a former World Cup Alpine ski racer. Oh, awesome. Good thing you got that hint. Yeah, I totally know that now. <laughs> yeah, show me Hillary Johnson. Not there. Good guess, though. Uh, thanks. <laughs> um, is Hillary Vlasic on here? Not there. Of the Vlasic pickle fortune? Yeah. yeah. Nothing like that crunch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why is the baby stork guy their mascot? I don't fucking what know. do pickles have to do with fucking infants? <laughs> Not like that, either. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, easy. <laughs> Muddy Waters. That was a blues singer. <laughs> How about Hillary Rhodes? Not there. Hillary Trevino? Not there. <sighs> Let's strike out for me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I have I one know. I have one more guess. Yeah, yes. good. Hillary Anderson. Nice. Not there. Good guess. Yeah, thanks. I just did my best, you know. We didn't get the top one. We didn't get the top two. Seven is Hillary Hahn. Six is Hillary Lind. Two is singer-songwriter Hillary Scott, and one is Hillary Tuck. Didn't know any of those people. Hillary Tuck? What, what'd they do? Known for co-starring roles in NBC sitcoms. And Hillary Scott's a singer-songwriter? Yeah, for Lady A. Mm. Oh, one half of Lady A. Yeah. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Tr I mean, it's just true. No, I mean, it makes sense that she's above Hillary Duff these days. Oh, yeah. I just don't know her by name, but right. I, know the, I know the band. Sure. I'll tell you what, when I'm off cheap tequila, I get a little horny for toes, too. Horny toes. <laughs> <laughs> Did your toes get horny or you're horny for toes? I'm horny for toes. That's what I said. I'm always horny for toes, man. I know. Not me, though. It's only when I'm off cheap tequila. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we into the last one here. We're into the last one. What is it, Grant? The seven most famous fictional Mikes or Michaels. Ooh, more fiction. I like it. All right, you get to go first here. Yeah, you do. Thank you. I'm sure. I don't want to though. But you have to. Michael Phelps. He's real. Believe it or not, I know it's unreal how good he is at swimming. Unbelievable golfer too. You wouldn't believe. Yeah. Um, it's unbelievable. Um, <clears throat> show me Michael Scott. That is the second highest answer for six points. That's where I was going to. Um, Mike Piazza was real, right? Catcher for the Mets? Can't call it. Okay. Mike Ditka was real in real life, but played a fictional version of himself in Kicking and Screaming. Correct. I think we're going to go ahead and count him in the real category. Michelangelo, that's all one name, although it's a Ninja Turtle, correct? I don't know. Ooh. How about Michael Kelso from That 70s Show? That is the fifth highest answer for three points. Nice. Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, and you are going to fucking hate me after this guess. Sure. So get ready. All right. Mike Wazowski. That is the highest answer for seven points. <laughs> wow. I'm going to suck your brain right out of your head. Yeah. Mike Wazowski. I hate hearing that name, though, because I, I won a Mike Wazowski lookalike contest when I was just walking by. <laughs> Wasn't even dressed like him. It's no just one crazy. Asked. I'm just saying, like, it's yeah. just kind of a bummer. It's a bummer. They were <laughs> just you? like, oh, you. <laughs> Winner. Gold medal. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't even really feel like I look like him, but whatever. There's people like fully dressed in green. Like, they did a lot of work on their costumes. Yeah. Me, just a guy walking <laughs> by. Wasn't even wearing a green shirt. It like, sucks, man. It was a bummer. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Is Mike from Stranger Things here? Like, Finn Wolfhard's character? Not there. <laughs> Dang. I bet you Al Pacino's character from The Godfather, Michael Corleone's here. That is the seventh highest answer for one point. Great pull. That's a good job, buddy. Thanks, dog. Yeah. I love manly movies. I know you do. <laughs> Arr. 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 They're all full of masculinity. Yeah. Arr. Arr. I got a little anti-masculinity in me. Say that much. Just uncomfortable to, to wear. But uh, give me my hint, Grant. One of the main protagonists in GTA V. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> Works for me. I only know their first names. Trevor. Fuck. Okay, I gotta go somewhere else with it. Oh, show me uh, Michael Myers. That is the third highest answer for five points. He's also real, though, because he's the voice of Shrek, and he's in Austin Powers. And he started Myers. <laughs> That's a regional grocery store, buddy. I don't know if the people are really going to get that one. Sell other shit there. Well, yeah, they sell, yeah, it's not just... Swimsuits, uh, wiffle ball bats, yeah. guns, Game Boy, SPs. I don't think they sell guns there anymore, but yeah, it's a, yeah, it's an all-purpose store, Crop but tops. it's just kind of like in the Midwest, so. It's called Myers, if you want to look it up. It's spelled all weird, though. It's M-E-I-J-E-R apostrophe S. Go ahead and guess one. Show the guy from Grand Theft Auto, Michael DeSanto, is that it? That is the sixth highest answer for two points. Great game. Oh, uh, show me Mike the Spunky Microphone from Popstar Idol, the spinoff of Guitar Hero. Not there. <laughs> ah, shoot. That microphone sure is spunky, I'll tell you what. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with one that I think that's pretty obvious that we overlooked. Yeah. Michael Mouse. Not there. <laughs> oh. Mikey Mouse. It's Mickey Mouse, yeah. Not Michael. He's a real man, I'm assuming. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know that. Michael Mouse. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Him and his wife, Miniature Mouse. Uh, show me the creator of Wet Hot American Summer, Michael Showalter. Not there. Ah. <laughs> probably, probably on account of he's a real guy. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm going to go with someone who's definitely fake here. Mike Tyson. Not there. Uh, he's a cartoon. Yeah, he's a cartoon with the pigeons and shit. Correct. Yeah. Uh, so you're struck out. Yeah. Michael, Michael, Michael. Give me the ghost of Michael Jackson. Not there. It's a real guess? Well, it's not real. It's a real guess, but the ghost of Michael Jackson is not real. Right, yeah, I, well, it's who's to say, I guess. When I thought, like, he was real, yeah. and now his ghost is not real. So that's a fictional character, right? Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's it a seems, stretch. Yeah, it seems like a stretch, okay. for sure. But cool. Who's the last guy? Mike Ermintrout. Right. Better call Saul. Yeah, see, I haven't seen it, and that name is hard to remember either way. <laughs> Ermin Trout. <laughs> hey, either way, game well played. Job well done. We love the name game. Let us know if you want us to keep doing it, and uh, let us know if you like the little twists, the fictional characters, the last names. Once again, we have a bunch of this content over on TikTok. Check us out over there. We've also been posting it on Instagram Reels. And before we say goodbye, we have to once again thank our sponsor, SeatGeek. Thank you again, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this video. Everything is linked in the description. Go get yourself $20 off some tickets mm -hmm. at SeatGeek. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning, and come on, diggy. Leave these people some advice to leave or live their lives by. So often, confidence begets knowledge. All right, this has been iMind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. I got a bit of a wedgie. Can I get it? Sure. Pinch and pull. That's the name of the game when getting a wedgie out. Yeah, sure. Remember that, kids. Pinch and pull.